going on in rec rooms, offices, and classrooms around the world. And the soon-to-be-released Xbox, it features very high resolution. Now I'd like to show you Macintosh in person. iPhone. Samsung Galaxy S. Cell phones are everywhere these days, and they keep getting smarter. The latest technology can be with you all the time. Why has our generation become so reliant on technology? According to an online article published in 2015, men and women spent on average 8 to 10 hours a day on their phones or any other electronic device. I interviewed two people from different generations to see what they had to say. We become so dependent on technology because uh, we've got lazy basically, I think we found a, another way to do things easier, so instead of doing it the hard way, we just simply gave in and decided to do it easy, such as sat-navs, you know, you, our parents would only read from a map, you know, even driving lessons and tests, you have to learn how to use a sat-nav instead of a map these days, that's how important technology has taken over our whole lives. Yeah, I think I could, um, but that's, that's me based on the way I was brought up. I, I did Cub Scouts and Beavers and all that kind of navigational stuff and survival stuff. Um, I go out camping quite a lot, um, but other people my age I probably say they couldn't because they're, they're dependent on social media and that's how they get their, their hit of dopamine, you know, when someone likes their Instagram picture or something, you know. They, that's their meaning and their purpose in their spare time is to create this persona or this facade on, um, on social media which is actually them. Um, so I think for that reason a lot of people couldn't, me personally I think I could. So. Okay so um, I think if I was, if, if I, I was existing and um, technology hadn't existed at all I think people would be a lot more happier, things would be simpler. Um, I think people would have a much more better understanding of purpose and the meaning of why we live. I think social media and technology has um, phased us into this kind of unknowingness that we, we don't know what's going on. We, we create a, first, a, a fake persona of ourselves and I think that for that reason it'd be so much better without technology or at least a lot less of it because we're becoming, so many people become depressed at the age of 16 because they're the least popular in high school and they're not getting any likes on Facebook and they're, they're bending themselves to be the popular person. I don't think that's right. For all of us, technology has become a huge part of society. If we do not limit ourselves to it, it can lead to some significant consequences. It can affect us physically, mentally and socially. When technology is taken over our lives, we forget the small things, such as quality family time, reading and exercising. When I was 10, 12 years of age, we had no, we had no iPads, laptops, mobile phones, Xboxes, Playstations, nothing like that at all. Uh, come home after school, again, yeah, we play, go on our bikes, ride to Ride to us, on the of lakes, go tracking through the woods, through the fields. Um, that was it. It was a lot. It was much, much safer then. If there was no technology in anybody's life or my life, um, lives would be really different, very different indeed. I mean, for example, technology we have today. You're doing everything from from home, aren't you? You're doing online shopping ordering everything off your laptop, off your phone, off your iPad, even off the TV. But take that all away, you'd have to literally get up and leave the house and go and do it. You'd have to walk to the shops, get a train to town, drive anywhere, to, you know, to go and do something. But like now, it's all done from your, from your lap in your front room. Yes, I could go without a day, probably, 
few days, probably a week, without using my phone, my laptop, my iPad. You know, um, for, for some people it's a necessity, they need it, but with me, I don't need it as much as some people do. But it's very, very handy. We are seeing more and more people who are truly addicted to technology. Some people can't even go a day without checking their phones. Nowadays, we're finding more and more people with true anxiety disorder, meaning they get physical symptoms if they cannot get to their phones. When we use our phones, texting has taken over for conversation. You will have people in the same room texting each other as opposed to talking. So what can we do to drive this addiction away? Try taking a technology detox. Take that day and set aside any piece of technology that you own. See how you feel, see if there's physical symptoms, see how you feel emotionally. Do you feel disconnected?